time of year Decorations line the streets All the children hope to meet Santa Claus Carolers everywhere Happiness fills the air Praying you be by my side Giving me a kiss goodnight We should be together After all Waking up on Christmas morning My greatest wish is coming true Another guest that's joining us for uh, this uh, for this show is a very good friend of the Roof Chamber Live in the Roof Chamber Radio, Coach Phil. Another Phil. <laughs> <laughs> good evening, Coach. Yes, good evening, Coach. Good evening good to evening, all of coach. you. Thank you very much for inviting me again. I, I missed you a lot, and it's, it's <laughs> thank you for bringing me here. Thank you for saying that, Coach. We need to book uh, Coach already <laughs> for the next show. For, for 2021. <laughs> Pencil it in already with you. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. What's been keeping you busy, Coach? Oh, yeah. Well, counseling has still kept me busy. Busier than ever, really. Because uh, I, I don't know. It's It's got to be the holidays because the holidays is more of relationships. And many people have been coming in for consultation regarding their relations and family problems and all that stuff so that's keeping me busy yeah uh, but also buying gifts <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thankfully it doesn't show on your face the, the, the burdens that you're carrying <laughs> <laughs> i'll teach you how <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that should be time well spent actually yeah, yeah. These days. yeah. 
Coach yeah. Phil, how, how how do you how do you how do you spend Christmas uh, together with your family? Yeah, well, before Christmas, we already distribute our gifts to our relatives because there are plenty of right. them. So we have to <laughs> give it out before that day. Yes. And on the Christmas day, we I stay with my wife. It's just her and me. We don't have kids, oh. and uh, we just snug in together. Uh, and since it's gonna fall on a Saturday this year, right? We usually have a Saturday Torah reading. Uh, we've been doing it for like the past uh, five years. We've been reading the Torah according to the Jewish uh, tradition, and every night that's what we're going to be doing. Unique this this time of uh, this Christmas. Yeah, there, wow. and uh, that's that's something different. <laughs> That's very cool. That's that's uh, that's very unique. Um, and a lot of people don't realize here in the United States and uh, elsewhere in, in the world that the Philippines has the longest. I mean, we have the longest <laughs> Christmas celebration. Oh, right? yes. Uh, it starts uh, it starts in the month of September and ends somewhere in January. Right. Even February. <laughs> Even <'cause>... February. <laughs> Yeah, just in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's this thing about Three Kings celebration. Right, usually it comes in on the first Sunday of February. Ah. so that's how long it takes to have Christmas here. <laughs> But co coach, yeah. I, I have a I just. I'm really curious. Why? Why do you think Filipinos are so into celebrating Christmas? Oh, that's beautiful. You know, Filipinos are a happy culture and. Right. Christmas is a happy season. You would uh -huh. you would really lengthen that as much as possible. And with the number of uh, stressful events happening here, <laughs> you would really yeah. expect that the, the right. you have a longer time to celebrate Christmas. Right. Like, everybody wants that right here. Right. Right. Yeah. And in our hearts, and our hearts goes out to all those who have been affected by the typhoon, the recent yes. typhoon. That's so right. We're praying for all of you guys. Anyway, Coach Phil, what does what does Christmas mean to you? You know, uh, it's a curious question because just about this year, I changed my perspective about Christmas because mm -hmm. I used to think that yeah, it's the Savior coming mm -hmm. and the Lord is going to be giving His uh, one and only Son so that will be sacrificed for all of us to be saved. Mm -hmm. Now, my perspective now about Christmas is it's a prophetic thing. Mm -hmm. That Christmas was built from a lot of prophecies, and we are in a time of prophecy where a lot of mm -hmm. prophetic events are happening. Mm -hmm. Most of those things that have not happened yet, and thousands of them have not happened yet, is about to happen soon. Mm -hmm. So Christmas is like a reminder that we will look forward to something prophetic happening anytime soon. Mm -hmm. You gotta be paying attention, just because just like. Christmas, it happened when only a few people heard about it, mm -hmm. and then it started progressing. It started being known by a lot of others, but those who knew it earlier were very pleased that it happened already because they mm -hmm. studied the word, like the, the Magi's who learned about the prophecy of Christ's coming. Mm -hmm. That was great. That was great. So for mm -hmm. me, it's like, get ready. Christmas is like, get ready for The next few things that are going to happen, the unraveling of God's mm -hmm. will coming out. So, yeah, that's Christmas for me now. I, I like your, I like the way that you shared your insight, but I specifically like the words that you said. Pay attention. Yeah. Everybody needs to pay attention, especially with the recent events that's been, as you said, unraveling. Mm -hmm. uh, previous uh, months in in you know for a year and almost oh, oh, actually two years now yeah uh, we're, we're still in that bind right now <laughs> <laughs> and it's progressing anyway thank you so much coach phil um sure. james do you have any questions for uh coach phil oh i think he's what he said is perfect <laughs> <laughs> i'm so glad you're on the show <laughs> <laughs> all right coach phil thank you so much for joining us for our Christmas special and Merry Christmas to you and yours. Wait, yeah. wait, there's no song from Coach Vila? Oh, yeah. No that's right. the, the, are, the, are we expecting a special song number from Coach, Coach Vila? Aren't we, yeah? <laughs> Weren't you planning to sing Michael Bublé or something? <laughs> Putting him on the spot. Hey, how much right am I going to get for this? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go get rewards in heaven, Coach Vila. <laughs> okay. Just like all our other guests. <laughs> all the rewards are so great in heaven. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I, can, I can see I can see Coach Phil blushing all over. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> Benji, what did you get me into? <laughs> anyway, Coach Phil, thank you so thank much you. for joining Welcome. us. God bless you. And again, Merry it Christmas to you Christmas. and yours. <laughs> God bless. Merry Christmas. God bless God you, bless Coach you. Phil. Thank God you so bye. much. The power of Jesus' name Let angels prostrate fall Bring forth the royal diadem And crown Him Lord of all Bring forth the royal diadem And crown Him Lord of all of Israel's race, ye ransomed from the fall. Hail Him who saves you by His grace, and crown Him Lord of all. Hail Him who saves you by His grace, and crown Him And crown him Lord of all To him all majesty ascribe And crown him Lord of all He's the Lord Join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. We'll join the everlasting song and crown him and crown him and crown him Lord of all. We're back uh, on the Roof Chamber Live uh, on the Roof Chamber Radio uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel. This is Ang Himig ng Pasko, a Roof Chamber Radio Christmas special. Um, and joining us right now is our very good friend, Zoe Warren. Hey, Zoe. Woo! How's it going, man? <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. 
How how was that? How how was Christmas for you? How was this December for you so far? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, the holiday season, the holy days, uh, they're filled and busy. And uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're great though. The Lord is good. You know. Amen. So we'd like to ask you this: um, How do you spend your Christmas with your family? Just that uh, with my family. Yeah. Um, you know, we kind of approach Christmas a little differently. Mm-hmm. When we first got saved, we really got deep into the Hebraic roots of the faith, you know? Right, right. And so we were like, Christmas sucks. <laughs> it's pagan. I <laughs> <Idol> worshipers. <laughs> you know, we really did. We ran away from that and right. we ran away from everything. You celebrate right. birthdays? Wait right. a minute. <laughs> we're not Jehovah Witness. Okay, we celebrate birthdays too. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just kind of being fun, but... Um, the we did we actually did we we started celebrating the Hebraic uh, feast days and stuff and right and we were having events and and still it turned into a religious kind of thing where we're actually kind mm. of being hard on people mm. about their own faith and their own walk with God and then the Lord opened our eyes uh, to understand that we should do things for the unity of the faith and not for the division of it mm-hmm. and um, so we kind of rolled back the rhetoric and the ideas. And um, we got, we got, we watched this movie. I don't know if you've ever seen Bethlehem Star. Have you ever seen the Star of Bethlehem? Uh, Star of Bethlehem, not okay. too familiar. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, the the guy who created it, produced it. His name is Rick Larson. You should watch it if you haven't. Rick okay. Larson. Okay. You could probably find a free version somewhere online. Right. Uh, but it's essentially he did some like astronomical archaeology. Uh, mm-hmm. He he used biblical clues to try to figure out what the Star of Bethlehem was. Right. And uh, it, the most amazing thing happened in his discovery of he found a conjunction that he believes is the star of Bethlehem, what they would have seen in the night sky. Mm-hmm. And as far as like the Babylonian Magi, you know, coming, they, he believes right. that they were Gentiles coming from Babylon. Right. They would have seen this conjunction go into retrograde. Ooh. And it, so it looks like it stops because the retrograde was sideways. You know, if you can imagine a circle, mm-hmm. then turn it on its side, mm-hmm. it looks like. It came to a stop, but then mm-hmm. obviously it's moving really slow. So it was like, okay, so the star stopped over Bethlehem. So it's mm-hmm. really compelling stuff, right? Wow. But the most amazing part of it was that that star went into retrograde on guess what date? The December twenty 20- fifth. I was gonna say, yeah, it, it's it's bizarre Whoa. because these this starry night program it's 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 essentially just math, and right. the math of the heavens is like pretty darn near perfect. There's a mm-hmm. formula you can use created by Johannes Kepler. You can determine where the stars will be 10 years from now or where they were 10 years ago. And he, so he mm-hmm. scrolled this program back and he was able to see the night sky at the time of Jesus' birth, his death. Res, res, you know, and there was the, the night sky was crazy just telling poetry. And so anyway, mm-hmm. um, the Lord showed me that and I was like, oh, wow. So the <laughs> first Gentiles to worship Jesus were on their way. And they saw the star stop over the Bethlehem. Now, he wasn't, he was no longer a baby when they got to him. I mean, well, he was no longer in the manger when they got to him. Right, right. But still, the first Gentiles to worship Jesus worshiped him, and a significant event took place on December 25th to let them know where he was. That's amazing. That's so amazing. And so we worship God in this way now. We don't do Christmas trees just because we want to do things for the unity of the faith. There's there's no reason for us. We don't condemn people for it. You want to do what you want. But at our house, it's about the star, which is the most miraculous thing I've ever heard of in my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Besides the virgin birth of Jesus. <laughs> wow. So we make those two things our primary, and we give gifts to the, the Jesus Christ and in, in our children and the people Amen. around us. Yeah. I mean, the first the first people to come and visit Jesus were shepherds, right? Right. Yeah. Right. And they didn't they didn't bring any gifts. Mm. The mm-hmm. angels came, right? God himself, the Father, sent angels, and the angels actually worshiped Jesus the day he was born. So even right. the Father celebrates Jesus' birth, mm-hmm. or he did at least. Mm-hmm. And so we do that. We get together with the family. It's more about us getting together and just, you know, remembering what Jesus did, watching the same kind of movies and <laughs> having the same kind of conversation yeah. every year about the birth of Jesus. Do you make ha- hot chocolates every Christmas morning or? No, on? no. Muff, <laughs> we make muffin cake around here. Oh, there you go. Muffin cake. It's muffin mix. We put it in a cake thing. Ah, that's good. <laughs> but so, 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 what does Christmas mean to you? Well, I mean, Christmas. 
Christmas should mean to everyone a unity. I mean, it's the most mm. powerful moment in history. I mean, mm. it's a moment that's so powerful that even unbelievers use the name of the God of the universe. And when he was born, mm. oftentimes when, when talking about the season, you know, um, now to me, it absolutely means unity. It means family. I look mm -hmm. at the father, I look at God, I look at all the gods of history mm -hmm. and I, you don't get to see this picture of a father who adopts a son with the mother giving birth. I mean, that's what kind of love is that, bro? Mm -hmm. That he, This isn't my baby. I mm -hmm. have to believe that I just heard from God mm -hmm. and I'm going to take care of you <laughs> yeah. and this baby. Oh. Yeah. Because it's not... He's really not my baby. Yeah. I mean, is, this is the baby of God, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, but what kind of love demonstration is that? You don't get to see that among the stories of gods and antiquity. The family and unity and fellowship and, and, and just celebrating even babies is all right. wrapped up into this story. And so to me, it represents just that, like, how, how much God loves the family, how much the family right. means to God himself. Yes. And so how much it should mean to me, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's, those are powerful um, insights. Yeah. Um, so you have a question for, for Zoe, um, James? Well, I, I, I think I had the exact same answer when Marty asked me. It was about mm -hmm. family. Because I yeah. always think about Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. Right. Yeah. You know? And yeah. you know, the thing about that story is that, you know, we when we think of Joseph in the Old Testament, he was Joseph the dreamer. Mm. Right? Joseph, the dad, you know, the stepdad mm. of Jesus, is right. also Joseph A the dreamer. A dreamer. Because, yeah, he, yeah, because, he, yeah, because he, he, yeah, the he, Lord re he, revealed himself through a dreamer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, in a dream. Exactly. But you know, as I was I was listening to Zoe, I was honestly I was thinking about pawns. Yeah. Because of where the direction he wanted to take this show. Right. <laughs> in Christmas origins. And he right. would love would have loved. Zoe. Yeah, would have loved. Yeah. yeah, would have loved yeah, it. And then our heart so. goes out to to Ponzi and and every Filipino who've yeah. been affected by the uh, super typhoon um yeah we're still in constant well it's it's touch and go whenever we communicate with ponzi because of just the uh, uh his ex uh, the his uh, the availability of uh, in the internet uh, mm -hmm. and, and the accessibility of the internet in his area right now but uh, do continue to uh keep uh the philippines in your prayer especially yes. those that are affected by the super typhoon um yeah. I know that with the resilience of the Filipino people, they will be able to rebuild everything. Mm. Uh, anyways, uh, with that said, thank you so much, Zoe, for joining us for our Christmas special. And uh, have a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year, my friend. And you, all of you, have a Merry Joseph Christmas. <laughs> 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 we will we will <laughs> thank you so much once again so um and uh and and uh, again um how did how 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 are they able to get in touch with you or how are they able to access your videos um yeah well you know i'm actually running for an office right now there you and go. So That's an official you, announcement right there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm running for lieutenant governor of South uh -huh. Carolina. I was asked to run. It wasn't my ambition, right. but I'm honored, and I will, you know, take the message that I've, that I've that I've been carrying all over the state of South Carolina, and hopefully, we can get we the people to engage in our civic duty. I got a whole message mm -hmm. for you coming up, but um, if you want to okay. go to votetruckerbob.com, mm -hmm. so www.vote trucker bob that the governor uh is trucker bob muscle white and so uh go to vote trucker bob.com yes and uh just for the benefit of the listeners in in the philippines uh lieutenant governor is equivalent to what uh you guys down there would refer to as a vice governor so that's uh that's that's what a little, but but for those of you who are in the states especially in south carolina vote for zoe warren 2022 
right there. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Anyways, God so bless you. I guess you, you're brother. staying in South Carolina, brother. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? At, at least for, <laughs> I would say at least for another 16 years. There you go. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, praise God. Well, man. Anyway. whatever the Lord, whatever the Lord wills will be done. And I'm in, you know, because well, I want to do what he wants. So. Yeah, Again, it's, it's fine. We love you. And when yes. we get the chance, we're going to go and see you in South Carolina for sure. Amen. More of Zoe Warren in, in public office. And that, yes. that's our prayer. And w, more like w, him. Yeah, www.votetruckerbob.com. That's www.votetruckerbob.com. All right. So, Zoe, thank you so much once again. Merry Christmas and God bless you. God bless. Merry Christmas, brother. Love Merry to Christmas. the fam. Thank you. Same to you. fiestas y a tu corazón vida y alegría y mucho más calor hey. have yourself a merry little Christmas make the vez la ilusión nunca se fue Through the years we all will be together as the Lord allows hang a shine Kasama mo Tuwing na Through the years We all will be together As the Lord allows See the shining star Above that manger Self, 
times when we just can't go on Fighting the good fight just wasn't enough And there are days when we can't understand Why nothing seems to be right Bless you, everybody. When I was a kid, my mom and my dad would be away all through the week, working hard so they could provide food on the table and send us to school. And the only day that I could be with them was Sunday. I grew up wishing every day is a Sunday. The only exception to that is Christmas time. 
Christmas is the season when for many consecutive days, my mom and my dad would be with us. My mom would cook good food. My dad would be around to help her. And together they would buy me new set of clothes. Christmas is a time when everything that was old became new. God was seemingly distant and then he became close to us. That's what Christmas is all about. He was invisible and then he became visible. He was in heaven, unknown to me, and then he became flesh and came to us. God, Emmanuel. Everything was wrong and then he came and everything was set right. Everything was lonely. And then he came and everything became joyful because there's Christmas. Merry Christmas to Ruth's Chamber. Merry Christmas. And we're back. You're listening to the Roof Chamber live on Himig ng Pasko to a Roof Chamber Christmas. Uh, joining us right now is a very good friend also of the Roof Chamber Radio and the Roof Chamber Live, um, uh, coming all the way, streaming all the way from Pampanga, Miss mm-hmm. Joyce Maliari. Hi, Joyce. Hi. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Hi, Christmas. Joyce. Christmas. Hi, Brother James, Brother Poitenji. It's good uh, to see you again. Same here. How have you been doing and how have you been spending your Christmas? Well, I have been preparing for the Noche Buena with my oh, sister. Man. <laughs> man. I mean, we have just done an early gross, uh, gro- uh, shopping, grocery oh, shopping for, right. you know, some food for the Noche Buena. And we, we have been uh, discussing some menu on what to, what to prepare for it. But you know what? We alwe- Me and my, some of my friends already had an early Christmas party. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's a, it's a very busy month, you know. It's a very busy month for all the Filipinos. You know, we, we celebrate Christmas as, er, er, as early as September comes, right? right? right. <laughs> we call it the bear month. So yeah. we did it uh, last November 30. And so, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. So, really. so, 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 uh, so uh, I'm assuming the Christmas party did not uh, require social distancing this time? No, <laughs> no, but there, there were some friends who wore some masks even we were, when we were inside, you know, the villa. But me, I was all free. I took it off. <laughs> but they respected that, you know. <laughs> And then they would, I... take it, they would take it off whenever they eat? Is that, okay? yes. is that what it is? <laughs> James, you're going to ask something? No, I, I, I call it socialist distancing because that's what it is. <laughs> Anyways, all right. It's very obvious where this uh, where this show is leaning <laughs> politically. <laughs> Anyways, um, Joyce, uh, tell us about tell us about uh, how you well you pretty much gave us a glimpse, but tell us a little bit more about how you usually celebrate Christmas over the years. All over the years, okay, we can sh- start from my childhood because yeah. I come from Pampanga, you know, right. the Christmas uh, center of the Philippines. So we right. have like right. a, a month long celebration here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When, we, when we were young, of course, we had some Christmas parties in church, which mm-hmm. we also did in advance mm-hmm. <laughs> in our Sunday school. So we had like Monito Monito, it's like an exchange gift. It's And like also, uh, Manito Manito is like Kris Kringle, right? Yes, Kris Kringle. That's, that's Chris the equivalent. Kringle. Okay. Yeah, and we also did that in schools, you know. And also we had like some um, not uh, Simbang Gabi. Mm. You know? So we do that. and We did that. And also the Simbang Galing Aldo, meaning uh, dawn. Church service at dawn, and also when 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 we were when I was a teenager, uh, that that was the time when uh, the Parul parade, you know, the giant lantern parade. The lanterns, the Christmas lanterns. Yes, the, the giant lantern parade uh, parade uh, started. So that was to, in the middle, uh, mid of 1990s. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there were times that me and my friends or my cousins would. Uh, go to the festival and watch the competition because it was a competition. So mm. 
that that was one of the programs here in Pampanga and also there were some uh, fiestas already in December so we would attend we would attend like uh, barrio fiestas uh, during uh, Dece December and also uh, personally when I when I became like mature <laughs> especially in my faith i would uh spend a time where i would jot down all my thanksgiving list everything that had happened to me in the whole year and then i would also list down all the lists of i call it faith goals mm. for the next year yeah. so i did that and of course along that uh we would i would discuss you know the menu with my family that would not yeah. So that, that that should be well prepared so like what i've said uh a while ago we already had a menu for christmas don't you Brian? right right so uh i i i've heard well no i'm not i haven't just heard but i actually experienced it uh of uh simbang simbang gabi or yeah. aguinaldo right um that's uh that's that's ba basically uh what uh what are uh what catholics in the philippines do uh, if mm -hmm. they wake up early in the morning and then they go to church uh, to mm -hmm. sort of sort sort of like a, it's like sort of like a countdown to the uh, I, I think that's a, they they start it uh, before December as a part of the Advent season right mm -hmm. and then uh, it's it's sort of like a countdown to uh, until uh, until the twenty fourth of December but uh, I haven't heard about the other one where the evangelicals. Uh, you, you mentioned another simbang, simbanggalio. What was that? We do it. We also do simbanggabi and simbanggaling aldo. Galing aldo. Okay. So it's, what, uh, is that for the for the church the, for? It's it's like a don don watch a for church for a, service. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, also, um, okay. Because my background is Methodist, so we also ah, did it ah. before when I was young. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Somebody's calling me in the middle of my show, <laughs> and apparently, um, apparently, it's uh, it's uh, it's somebody from the UK. <laughs> well, while, while you're looking at that, I, I have right. a question because there I know go. that uh, in Pampanga there's a there's a place called Pascuhan Village. Mm. Right? Yes. Uh, so what's that like? What is was it like? Uh, you know, when you go, have you ever been there, Penji? I have never been to Pampanga. I would wish I could be able to go to Pampanga. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. So tell yeah. tell us about that. Uh, uh, is that is it a place that we should actually go and, and visit uh, during the Christmas season? Yeah, like um, Pascuhan Village is uh, like a park uh, that. It, uh, with Christmas motif all year round. So, wow. so yes, yeah. yeah, so you can visit it. <laughs> the last yeah. time I went there was years ago. I don't know before the pandemic happened if it was if it was um, open or still function in business or what. But in my experience, uh, there were shops that we could visit, like mm -hmm. souvenir shops, and it's all year round. And of course, during um, during Christmas season, there are some special programs and events like concerts, outdoor concerts, and some um, plays, you know, and uh, before they used to hold the giant mm -hmm. lantern parade contest there, but now mm -hmm. I think it, it's done in a, in a different and bigger uh, event uh, place. Yeah. I see. Well, here's another question. Is it true that the parole was, is actually originated from Pampanga? Or because I know it's really big there. It's like no, I think Paral is basically uh, a Filipino tradition all throughout I the see. islands. All throughout the but island. the thing in Pampanga, it uh, we commercialized it, uh, and we perfected ah. the we perfected the technology because it, it, now it's electronics. Right. So yeah. yeah, and also the design, we perfected it, and it has become yes. an industry here in Pampanga. That's why uh, usually they they associate the parol or the lantern christmas lantern uh to kapampangans or to pampanga yeah that, that's true yeah. um if you really want a good one you buy it from there you ask. yes <laughs> so how far for the benefit of uh, our audience here in the united states how far is pampanga 
from uh, the capital city of Manila? 45 to an hour without traffic from the center, San Fernando. 45 minutes. To, yes, to Manila, but to Clinton. Back in the 80s, James, that didn't used to be 45 minutes. <laughs> right? right? It, it took longer. I, I, I know it took longer. <laughs> yeah, because, because Inlex wasn't as wide. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. there was no se text there was you know the, the roads were really narrow back right then. even right. in the earlier days it was macarthur highway there wasn't even right exactly i remember that <laughs> that, that takes forever <laughs> that takes forever because the route yeah. goes through uh bulacan before it uh it exists ah. in manila i see i see now joyce my next question for you would be what does christmas mean to you Oh, Christmas means to me, it's the birth of our Lord and Savior, you know, everything. It's all about that. When I was a, when I was a child, of course, I would say Christmas, it's all about the gifts and <laughs> the gifts and the good food. But, you know, Christmas, it's all about the birth of Jesus Christ. Everything about it, it's a, it's a celebration of his birth mm -hmm. and a fulfillment of a, a prophecy you know, for the salvation of the whole mm -hmm. earth. And it's mm -hmm. a time for family it's a time for um uh it's a time for love it's a time for gift giving it's you know it's it's the best chance to recollect what had happened the whole year and to reflect you know yeah. and yeah and hopefully right. to rectify <laughs> the mistakes <laughs> all right okay so um joyce um i'm assuming that you didn't uh get to celebrate Christmas uh, with family a year ago, uh, if uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so how is that different from celebrating Christmas right now? Well, last year it was really a hard time, you know, especially in in, um, in my context in my family. It was we were so broke. <laughs> oh, my business, uh... my bis all of my businesses. We're all closed down. So oh my goodness, I can imagine. We still celebrated it because you know it's all about Jesus. It's not all about what we have or what or what we don't have. So mm -hmm. we still had a small feast. We prayed. So mm -hmm. we prayed. We fed, we had fellowship. Mm -hmm. But now we are very hopeful. We are so thankful that at, as early as last week, our pantry was full. Mm -hmm. So and blessings are still keep coming in. You no. Know? Mm -hmm. Uh, this year it's different because we we I know I know in my in my spirit it's a different season and I can I can sense it that um, prosperity and there's prosperity and there's more more abundance compared to last year but you yeah. know the, the grateful heart's still there it's all the same. I like I like the last part. The grateful heart is still there. Yeah. And we should all be grateful whatever the circumstances are because of our Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. who is the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Miss Joyce Maliari, for joining us. Have a Merry Christmas and a Blessed New Year. Thank you so much. Have a Blessed Christmas too, Brother Penchi and Brother James. Thank you so yes, much. All right. Merry Christmas, Joyce. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you. God bless. Bye. God bless too. Say 
sa'y nagis nan sa'y sang munti nasabsaban puso'y may kagalakan nagpupuri sa iyong ngalan sa katuparan ng isang Suko naghi.